A tomb containing a human skull with a bird's beak was discovered, initially leading scientists to believe it was the burial site of a birdman. However, after thorough investigation, archaeologists were astonished by what they found. This discovery is just one example of numerous archaeological finds around the world, many of which still hold unsolved mysteries. Let's delve into a fascinating discovery that captivated the attention of archaeologists worldwide, emerging from the annual meeting of the American Geophysical Union at the end of 2018. The enigma surrounds Gunung Padang, a site marked by the presence of ancient stone pillars. While first documented in a report by the Dutch East Indies Archaeological Service in 1914, the earnest research only commenced in 1979. Situated in the village of Karyamukti, Chianjur Regency, West Java, Indonesia, Gunung Padang has become a focal point of exploration. Decades of research have unveiled compelling evidence suggesting the existence of remnants of an ancient temple concealed beneath pyramid-like structures, buried underground for millennia. In contrast to the symmetrical pyramids built by the Maya, the megalithic site at Gunung Padang exhibits a broader structure with a semicircular formation in front, Spanning an area of approximately 150,000 square meters, the site has been layered with various soil deposits, indicative of distinct temporal periods. The upper layers date back around 3,000 to 3,500 years, while the deepest layer, at a depth of 15 meters, is estimated to be over 9,000 years old. At the pinnacle of the upper layer, several pillars crafted from basaltic rock emerge, complemented by arranged stone columns forming walls, pathways, and chambers. The ongoing research endeavors of scholars aim to unravel additional mysteries concealed within this ancient site. The curiosity surrounding Gunung Padang persists, inviting the world to contemplate the advanced knowledge of ancient civilizations and the enigmatic secrets concealed beneath the layers of time. Across the ocean, approximately 11,800 kilometers away from Gunung Padang, another discovery has ignited excitement. This is an Anglo-Saxon burial site unearthed during the construction of the HS2 railway line. A significant infrastructure project connecting London with major cities in central and northern England. The Anglo-Saxons, a group of Germanic people from mainland Europe in the 5th century, settled in England during the early Middle Ages. They intermingled with the native British population, jointly forming a ruling class, a historical phase with significant impact up to the Norman conquest. This discovery is one of the largest finds in English history. In the stone burial site, not only human skeletons were found, but also sharp weapons and jewelry like brooches. In total, there were 141 inhumation graves and five cremation graves. The most striking find was the skeleton of a man with a sharp iron embedded in his spine, providing clues for experts to delve deeper into the causes of their deaths. Not just the Anglo-Saxons from the 5th century have their share of surprises, but also the Vikings, whose allure never fades. A discovery by scientists from the University of Copenhagen, Denmark, presents us with an unexpected story from the Viking life. It's a unique Viking burial with deer antlers placed on the skull. This find challenges the common myth of Vikings typically depicted with horned helmets. In fact, there is no evidence of Viking helmets equipped with horns. 
The deer antlers, along with the bones of small animals such as squirrels, martens, and otters, provide a unique insight into the life and culture of the Vikings in the 10th century. At that time, otter fur was a symbol of status and luxury for the Vikings in Denmark. As there were no otters in the region, they obtained this fur through trade in areas they had raided. The Vikings, known for their raids across Europe, North America, Russia to Turkey, brought back otter fur as a prestigious trophy. This burial not only reflects the unique lifestyle of the Vikings, but also illustrates their obsession with symbols of wealth and success. It's a rich portrait of the history and unique culture of the Vikings in their era. Continuing to unearth unique burial mysteries, this story takes us to Siberia, where secrets of an ancient shaman are preserved. The discovery is not only perplexing, but also casts a magical aura around it. In 2018, two unusual graves were found in Siberia, intriguing many with their distinctiveness. Initially, some thought these were graves of bird men, but further research unveiled a surprising truth. The graves belonged to a male shaman from the Odinov culture, which dominated Western Siberia around 5,000 years ago. The grave showcased about 50 stork beaks meticulously placed around the shaman's skeleton. This identification opened a window into understanding the life and profound spiritual practices of the time. The stork beaks are believed to be part of a ritual costume or a headdress that adorned the shaman. They were arranged at the back of the skull and along the neck, creating the illusion of a collar that protected the shaman even in death. The uniqueness of this grave not only highlights the cultural diversity of ancient Siberia, but also reaffirms the role of the shaman as a significant figure in the Odinov society. It offers a fascinating glimpse into the spiritual practices and mystical beliefs held by the ancient people of the region. In a karst cave in the Altamura Murgia area of Italy, a terrifying yet incredible uniqueness lies hidden. In 1993, a team of speleologists exploring the cave stumbled upon an ancient human skeleton that had become one with the limestone of the cave, creating a stunning sight. Known as the Altamura Man, this skeleton was trapped in the cave for thousands of years. Encased by dripping limestone formations from the cave ceiling, the bones solidified over time, merging tightly with the cave elements. Its death is believed to have been caused by falling into a well-like hole and getting trapped there, eventually dying of starvation. The Altamura man is estimated to have lived between 150,000 to 250,000 years ago, representing the Neanderthal period as the oldest DNA discovery from a Neanderthal human. This skeleton is a precious window into the past, revealing the life and conditions of ancient humans who preceded us. Despite debates over the classification of Neanderthals as Homo sapiens or a different human species, the skeletal structure of the Altamura man provides an intriguing and valuable insight into human evolution. In 1922, Armando de Soto Morillas made a world-shaking archaeological discovery, the Dolmen de Soto. This site was uncovered when Morillas was planning to build a new house on his land in La Lobita, opening a gateway to the mystery of Neolithic ritual burials. The Dolmen de Soto forms a circle with a diameter of about 75 meters. Inside, there is a V-shaped corridor stretching 20.9 meters surrounded by standing stones that hold historical secrets. Believed to have been constructed between 4,500 and 5,000 years ago, this dolmen stands as a silent witness to the enigmatic Neolithic civilization. This site is not just a place for ritual burials, but also one of around 200 similar sites in the province of Huelva. The local inhabitants of that era likely used this dolmen for worship and ceremonies, reflecting a deep connection between prehistoric humans and their spiritual world. The Dolmen de Soto serves as tangible evidence 
of the life and beliefs of the Neolithic people, still harboring numerous mysteries to this day. Its presence invites us to delve into and contemplate the spiritual and cultural heritage of the past that has shaped the long journey of humanity toward civilization. When discussing civilizations, one cannot overlook the Tigris River, the cradle of human civilization. During a drought in the Tigris River in northern Kurdish Iraq, a hidden marvel was revealed, a 3600-year-old ancient palace that enriches the story of ancient civilization. This archaeological site, first discovered in 2010, required time before archaeologists could finally excavate it. As the Tigris River receded, excavation began, revealing an archaeological site stretching one kilometer, estimated to be about 3,400 years old. This building turned out to be a remnant of the Mitanni Kingdom, comprising large houses, a magnificent palace, streets, and tombs. This kingdom, which had relations with the pharaohs of Egypt, ruled the area between the 15th and the mid-14th centuries BC. The existence of this ancient palace takes us on a journey through the past, uncovering the mysteries of the life and culture of the Mitanni people long lost to history. This excavation is not just about physical ruins, but also about reviving the voice of the past that now speaks through the stones and walls of the palace. A historical legacy trapped in the flow of time, now rediscovered to provide new insights into the glory of ancient civilization on the banks of the Tigris River.